uh, the next topic that you know we're going to get into is Cat Williams. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people heard about it. It's, I think the video now is with Shannon Sharp on his show. He interviewed him, and it's I think the video is at like 28 million in the, in the span of like two days. Mm-hmm. And listening to the interview, there's just so much in there where he was alluding to the devil and works of the enemy. And most people wouldn't consider him a spiritual person. I don't know if he's saved. I'm not going to sit back and tell you he's a Christian or anything like that, but he references God and the devil a lot. And he he points out something in this interview that we we guys saw in the first clip that points to the work of the enemy that the devil doesn't recreate anything. So I don't want to talk too heavy on it, but I want want the Cat Williams in the video to speak for itself. No, no, that's fine, because I'm getting drawn into what you're saying, but let's go ahead and listen to the conversation here. This is actually a clip of him talking about Steve Harvey. So it's interesting what he has to say about him. Let's go ahead and listen to this. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and that's why he couldn't do stand up anymore. Imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. What? You called Ocean Eleven to get that n- part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie, I, I would have to say what I have to say. Have, you ever, been on, truth have you ever been on tour with any of these guys? The guy... Every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. There you go. What do you guys say about that, man? Which, which, what's your opinion on that? So Cat Williams has yeah. had quite the the history. It was a lot of a lot of controversy with him, and I haven't really heard of him in some time until now. I don't know if he's had a reconnection with God or not, but the fact that he's starting to talk about the the bad things. In the, with the industry, yeah, the spiritual aspects, and he's always been true. He's always been a person that's up front. He doesn't sugarcoat things. No, he uh, doesn't. He's pretty much renowned as one of the best comics in the world. He's single handedly sponsored all of his tours. Uh, he's on one right now, actually. He's running one right now, and this dude doesn't have to do advertisement and stuff just like this. He just popped up in the show, and he hasn't done an interview since I think Steinfeld. He did a few like this was almost maybe five or six years ago. If quote me if I'm wrong. Um, that interview blew up. And so he's a, a, a powerhouse on his own. And so with all that and him coming out with this material and just being so truthful and honest, yes, like you said, you can tell like there's an element that he is reminding him of where he needs to be. Because even when he, if you listen to the whole interview, which is almost three hours long, he starts talking about his childhood and how he was raised in the church. He was raised around these things. His parents were very strong believers. And, and so that really just stayed in him. As he grew up and he always said that he wanted to be Jesus. He wanted Jesus to be his best friend. If you listen to the interview, he says, I wanted Jesus to be my best friend. And I, like you said, I really do hope God is opening his heart and God is sifting through him. He doesn't get in touch with the wrong people um, because I did hear when that he was getting involved or in relationship with Lou uh, with Farrakhan. And that's sweet. You know about that. Um, so I just hope he doesn't get mixed up in the wrong crowd of believers. Um, so now you're saying that he's, thinking about converting or he's just having ties he just, in this interview he stated he's in relationship with farrakhan and farrakhan he views him as his spiritual leader but you can tell when though when he talks he's talking about the god and the jesus of the bible okay and the bible so that because that's his roots but if you listen to louis farrakhan farrakhan when he talks they believe in the old testament so they will they talk about the bible a lot they if you hear him talk he Low key, almost Farrakhan may may sound very similar to a Christian, but he's Muslim, and so yeah, so he's that's kind of his spiritual leader, like really? better word. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I, like I said, I just I pray and I hope that he goes in the right direction because man, this dude is he's influential. Like you said, I didn't I didn't realize he was this influential. 
I it did not. It, and the yeah. fact that he talks about how he mentions Kevin Hart, he mentions Cedric the Entertainer, he mentions obviously Steve Harvey and Tyler Perry. And he's like, hey, this industry that, well, pretty much every industry, but this industry, the comedy industry is pretty deceptive. And I'm going to go ahead and use this as a segue to the next clip. Um, get some popcorn, guys. This one's a little long. This one's about a minute or two. Actually, it's, it's about two minutes, a little over two minutes. So, But he talks about the deceptiveness in the comedy industry, which I thought was very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and play that now. Yeah, let's get to it. That he knows is a lie. So why would he say it? Because he's a liar. Nobody knows why liars lie. And that's why I had to come on the program. Cedric did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams joke? Yeah. He said it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018. You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what doesn't line up? I This is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the level that it was. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. Then you ask him, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have a range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. I don't know, I don't know, Cat. We might not let you drink anymore the way you, you, I mean, we ain't even got. I'm not fueled by alcohol. I've had a sip less than you. The truth don't need motivation. I'm just saying I can't let these dudes lie. Cedric sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. Why I'm can't, not a movie can't, star. Can't. It's a situation. He never wrote anything. Remember when Cedric the Entertainer starts, he's supposed to be singing, dancing, and telling jokes. That's why he's called the Entertainer. Right. I guess that's the end of yeah. that. Yeah, he had a lot to say, but I mean, all this week, you saw all these comedians that he's named. They all replied and they all had a statement to say, but none of them refuted it in a way of like disputing, okay, yeah, you were wrong. They were just irritated that he said something, but they never fully was like, okay, no, this is what really happened. And the one that did, I think it was Ricky Smiley, which he didn't reference just there, but he does reference Ricky Smiley in the movie oh, next yeah. Friday, right after the next where he was the Santa Claus and he said he was supposed to play his mm -hmm. role. Um, he was the only one that really did disputed it and said, you know, that pretty much it was true that he was supposed to be Money Mike initially. And so, but anyways, long story short, yeah, man, he's he's out at everybody. And I don't believe there's much fables in, in what he's saying. Like I said, nobody, nobody refuted it. Well, the funny thing is I was just talking to my wife earlier about this, that there's been rumors as of late that Bernie Mac, something occurred to Bernie Mac within this group of people I'm not going to get into details with, you know, you guys can read between the lines, but it was pretty nefarious. And the reason behind his passing was not natural. So yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. You guys, you guys yeah. think about it, go, do your own research, look into it. Obviously you'll never get the answer until we get the answer, but yeah, I think it's in interesting because I did listen to a lot of this uh, podcast. It's and a long it's it's long and he made reference to bernie mac and he was like man he's pretty much saying that i gotta do right by bernie i'm gonna put him up on his pedestal yeah and i think he knows something that he's not telling us yes do we have ultimately think of that remember the clip we played in the beginning i can play yeah. that give me a second to get it queued up yeah, yeah. and uh, before he plays this video i'm gonna just reference corinthians 11 and 14. have at uh, it and I want you guys to keep this in your mind when you're hearing him talk. No, and no wonder forever Satan distinguished himself as an angel of light. Keep that verse in your head when you listen to what he says. Remember, guys, we don't fight against flesh and blood. 
And that's from Ephesians 6 and 12. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against rulers and authorities and cosmic powers over the present darkness against the spiritual forces and evil in heavenly places. Indeed. It goes still in mind why we watch this, guys, because people that are in the world and people that aren't so spiritual, they eyes can have been open to some things that a lot of us never see. You know? I, I always refer to nefarious things that let's just say with the list that just was made public as far as names of people on this list what is his name Bern, Ernst, what is it named you know Which what one? i'm talking about the list of of celebrities and whatever the list came out recently uh -huh. but yeah it's a lot of yeah. evil things that occur in this world man and don't know about we don't hear no. i'm gonna go ahead and, and play that video that you referenced Yes, yeah, Big dick deviance is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TGJ, any of them, the, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. I need to have no more of these. Amen, amen. Gee. <laughs> kind of, I'm <clears throat> getting on here. All right. Yeah, After that, I'll rounds. really kind of know where to go. Let me one more time. Mm. Right. Wow. He mentioned some big people. Yeah. Was that the rest of the clip? Was that the end of it? That was, yeah, that was the one that you referred that to. Because I'm afraid he went a little deeper in there. That's okay. So, but yeah, like like you said, guys, there's a lot of things going on. And, and he, he elaborated a little further. I really encourage you guys to listen to that full podcast. There's um, plenty. He, yeah, he elaborates on pretty much saying that the devil doesn't recreate anything new and he can't gift anybody because anything the devil gifts you with all these people in these high places and all that. Um, he referenced them and went into further detail. You, he can't gift you anything because it comes with a curse. It comes with death at the end. So anything the devil offers you, anything the devil gives you, the devil plays for keeps. There's an end thing attached to it. You may not see it. The devil will give you sweets and candies and all that up front and it tastes good. When you get to the bottom of the barrel, it'll bite you. You know what I mean? So I just want to warn people of that and, and keep your, your eyes out for that and realize that the devil cannot gift anybody. But I do want to add on something that a lot of people are not aware of. Obviously, if you study the Bible like you and I do, you are. But I think we need to convey this to people. There's a lot of people that say, I gave myself to the enemy. I you signed myself over. But you can't. You can, yes, you can do that, and the and, and enemy will lead you to believe that that is the case. But God is it owns everything under the heavens, including us. He yes, already God. paid the ransom for us. If you're willing to accept it. If you're willing to accept it, you know, and the enemy is so deceitful that he would lead you to believe that, oh, you signed this out, you, your name on the dotted line, you're all mine. God, no, give, 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 yourself, give yourself to God, and God is it reigns over everything. And, and, and so I want people to realize, as much as you think you've gone to, to the dark side, quote unquote, there's light, there's light with God, there's light with the way, the truth, and the life of Jesus Christ. All yeah. you got to do is give yourself to God and have a relationship with him. And obviously you have to, you have to, you have to openly admit that, Yes, Jesus Christ died for us and was raised after, you know, and you have to repent for your sins, but the enemy can't fight against that. I mean, yes, the, the biblical is very legalistic, but God, his word is ultimate. He is the, the king of everything, the king of kings. So I just want people to realize that there is a way back and there's a way back to eternal life, ultimately. You know, but you have to give yourself to God and you have to repent for the things you've done. And remember, the enemy is very deceitful. Yes. Don't believe him. Yes. That's all yeah. I wanted to say about that. No, I'm right on point with you. And I just want to add a tad to that so we get to our next part here. But if you still have breath in your body and you wake up in the morning, you have another chance to give your life over to God. It's not over with yet. The devil has not taken you. At the end of the day, God has the control. So if you're willing to give yourself up to God, you're willing to give God that, as Jose said, don't believe the lies of the enemy.